Hey, it's Monster, one half of your dynamic hosting duo of the Nerdy Man Room Show. Proudly bringing you another Man Room Short. Enjoy, and as always, please remember, viewer discretion is advised. So I wanted to ask you guys one more question before we move into the nerd out section as well, which is us asking questions anyway, but um, is there any storyline or title that you would have seen just rather be a what if than, than a main continuity storyline that you thought kind of muddled things up too much? Civil War. Interesting. Yeah. Because they I just... They made Tony Stark the villain. There was no way around that. Tony Stark being the villain. And he was the villain for quite some time. And it, it, I, I don't feel like he's really, truly redeemed himself within the 616 from, from that again. So it's, there wasn't a lot of coming back for that. And And I'm not a big new comic book reader, but... I wish that they would have done Miles Morales as a what if and actually re come up with a different way for the next generation of spider person to be done rather than the way they did it. That's a fair point. I loved him in the ultimate universe. I just think he should have stayed in the ultimate universe. That's that, you know, that's what I'm saying. It just, it's the way that it happened. Yeah. I'm sure he's a really interesting character. He's not a Peter Parker. No. That's some huge shoes to fill. And if the writing's not there, it's it's just weak. When, when Bendis wrote the title, he respected it, and he tried to t- treat them as separate entities. And it was a his story, not, you know, and he was just honoring Peter's memory. But as soon as Bendis and left the title, left. It, it went south, and now it's like this. It's just woken. I mean, there's no, there's no nice way to put it. It's just woken. Uh, to me, my son and I were actually having the same debate about the Miles character because we, he was playing the video game the other day on the PS5, and I was like, okay. He's like, yeah, the Miles was shorter, and this and that. I was like, you know, I was like, the more I think about it, I enjoyed Miles and the Ultimate Universe where he was his own character and he was trying to come into his own as Spider-Man to honor Peter. But as soon as you stick him in the main 616, and they're both exactly. called Spider-Man, this is not the Flash legacy where... Kid Flash grew up to be Flash, and he's still there with the other one, and they're saying, we're both adults now. We can both share the name. Why is he Spider-Man, and he's like 10 years younger than Peter Parker? Especially like, now that he's, in, damn, name and character. he's in, in this little wonky-looking track suit. I want Ben Riley just to slap the oh. shit out of him and say, look here, buddy. I'm a clone, and I'm more Spider-Man than you. Get the hell out of here. And and then for DC, I, I would like to see an Elseworld with Static Shock that was different than the way Static Shock was an awesome character that they kind of yes. tokened out, which really makes me sad. And, you know, the problem is that you know, they, they tried to go back and revisit that Milestone universe in the last half of this last year and, and even into now. And it's not the same as it was before. But at the same time, you want these characters to be more popular for Milestone to be to come back to what it was. But it's taking you four months to put out the difference between issue four and issue five. And you're being published under DC's banner. How, how can you not get the issues out there? If you're trying to rebuild yourself and say, exactly. this universe mattered. And now you're taking four months to make two issues. Yeah. Something like that. And uh, like with image, when they done the image United, they should have had six issues in the can for it ever got marketed before it ever got put to shelf to print or anything like that. You give me a damn script for six to 12 issues. And uh, or, or give me the script for twelve issues of the art for six. We'll catch up before it ever hits shelves or, or marketing or anything. I have a complete run of the original Milestone comics, and back in my day, I didn't see it as black heroes. They were heroes. Yeah, they were superheroes. As a superhero story, it didn't matter what color they were. I could relate to. Everything that was going on, Ohio kid, not a lot of money, trying to do this. Then you look at hardware. It was all about you could identify with the bits and the pieces that hit home to everybody. Yes. And that's and this is the big- thing that this is exact discussion Monster and I have had countless times. <laughs> I, I'm all for diversity. I create a thousand black heroes. I love it. Blue Marvel is one of my favorite characters they've come up with it in the last 15 to 20 years. Yeah. I really love the character. He's great. He's a, He has purpose. Give them purpose. If you want to make homosexual characters, I'm fine with that. 
make a new one. Give him an interesting backstory. Don't just make him flamboyantly gay just for being flamboyantly gay. And do not take a character that is 100 years old in continuity and all of a sudden say, you know what? Man, I sure are love some man sex now. I'm with you 100%. Let's not go the lazy route either. Let's deal with Northstar, the very first Marvel gay, openly gay character. And they do nothing with him. Flush him out. I mean, they do nothing and, with him. Exactly. And don't tell me that Marvel doesn't have women characters because you've got a bunch that haven't even been flushed out. Tigra, where's she been doing? What's she been having going on for the she last a mainstream year? Avenger for years? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and the Wasp. I mean, uh, you, they dust her off every time an Ant Man movie comes out. So and she, and she's due. And why go to Black Panther for your black character? There's Black Goliath, there's Black Lightning. There's all of these other characters, both Marvel and DC, not just because of what they are, but give them the iconic nature so that they can stand up for their community, which can still be enjoyed by everybody. Luke Cage, Brian Bendis has done, done so amazing with Luke Cage right here. I mean, he, he done exactly what you said. He made you see past the skin color, which is what we're supposed to be doing. And you see the hero inside and that's all that mattered. Exactly. It's storytelling. Nobody, it is and, doing it the way it should be done. And nobody's mentioned in the fact that we allowed, as a bunch of fans, we allowed Captain Marvel to get blonde haired and, and whitewashed out for what should have been the next in succession after the male Captain. Yeah. She, and her yeah. Afro beauties from the 70s. I mean, and her white outfit and the black star. No one has a problem with that. We can whitewash that character. That's fine. But we want to. No. It, it, uh, well, I think they're trying crazy. to rectify that a little bit with what should, they did in, in WandaVerse, you know, by, you know, adding Photon in there. But it, she was supposed to be Captain Marvel. 